right now we're on the way to the rebuild center. Is it rebuild center? The rebuilding center in downtown Portland. Pete has an idea for a dining table that we can do for Urban Sphere. We don't have a whole lot of time to build furniture. We're hoping to get this one done in four hours. That's a goal. That's a goal. I'll be happy with six. Four boards side by side, and then we're gonna put cross instead of gluing. I just wanna do probably four or five under supports that I'm gonna hopefully get that are kind of nice looking. Here we are. I've never been to this place. He sounds ties good. I've never had pork in now, so maybe we should do that. Okay. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's old, old layers and layers of paint that they Barn. sanded down. That's like barnwood, sanded paint, and then like a clear coat on top. Come in here and you see this shit. It's just like. How big we want to go with this table? I like those things. The hole in the middle? Yeah, because they're aged inside. You know, you, you couldn't just cut those fresh. Dude, three holes. Like center it so there's three holes down the middle of the table. I think that would be awesome. See, what's there a price on that thing? That one with the holes in it. down these three old boards. We're gonna cut some uh, bottom supports out of these, lay these across, drill them into the wood, flip the whole thing over, attach some of our uh, steel table legs, and we'll have ourselves a dining table. sander you can find. So we got all of our top layer wood prepped and everything was looking good until we laid the boards out side by side. As you can see there's these gaps in between the boards and that's what you're going to get with old reclaimed wood. So we're going to try to shave off the ends and get it nice and flush. So we've got this whole Symmetrical pattern here between skinniest board, medium board, thickest board. Make sure I get the same width on the two outside boards, these two middle boards, and then the center board. And you don't have to do this. I mean, you may find some wood that is perfectly straight on each side, and maybe you don't mind the gaps at all. And that way you don't have to use a table saw if you don't have one available to you. Just a damp rag. Get the dust off. Also called popping the grain. Put this thing together. 
measuring my shortest one here. Pretty good. These are technically drywall screws, but they will work perfectly well. I'm going to try to get four screws aboard. We made this jig here, make sure we get nice straight cuts every time. If you want to see how we made this jig, I'm going to post it in another video. Not bad. And I don't think this is a traditional woodworking tool, but it's going to make quick work of taking the edges off this tabletop. Damp rag. Pop the grain, remember? What did Pete tell us about popping the grain? We chose this stain. It should be good for quick projects. Also, it offers three times the happiness. The stain is dry, it's time to put on the top coat. Now, what's inside this can is a secret Pete will take with him in death. It's a formula passed down from his great Spanish ancestors. This is two thirds fast drying polyurethane and a third mineral spirits. I just like to make my own because it's cheaper. Why not use brush on poly? More time to dry, you gotta use uh, a brush to apply it, it's going to go on thicker. This will give you thinner coats, a little bit more control. We're going to use it. Stir it up good. So, super fine sandpaper, 1500 grit but it'll just kind of smooth everything out and make it feel nice. All right, tabletop is done. Now we need some table legs. The barn is the space in Southeast Portland that Urban Sphere has staged. And here is our easy reclaimed wood dining table in all its glory. Not bad. Turned out pretty good. I'd say I'd say it was a success. What's nice about this table is that you don't need glue. The holes were an interesting design choice. And we even found some potted succulents that fit perfect.
I'm just kidding. <laughs>